fun times in the LVP community, hey? Hello everyone, so let's talk about LVP. As you may know, I am the former lead developer of Project Lighthouse. I recently left a couple months ago for, well, you know, mental health reasons. Seriously, this community drives me insane! But more importantly, I left due to concerns about how the Little Big Planet Union is treating the project and those following it. LVPU has been treating a project not as a project for the community, as a custom server project should be, but instead as an asset or product of LVPU. I've already explained a lot about how I think they've completely misunderstood the concept of open source and playing fair in NerdyAnt64's video on LVPU, so if you'd like to see that, click the card or click the link in the description. You can also just pause here and read the summary of my thoughts, but let's be honest, nerdy and is cooler. Anyways, after seeing LVPU's recent behavior, some feelings that sparked me, I was beginning to wonder if I should just make my own Discord along with another custom server project. So I talked to some close friends about morals regarding moderation, open source, the whole bit. We all seemed to naturally agree that this was the way forward, and not to sound egotistical, I was probably the best person to do it since I knew firsthand what I was talking about and not to do and how to maintain a project and community. And now we've reached the present. I've created a Discord server called Little Big Refresh, and it's intended to be a chill environment for people to discuss Little Big Planet, its community, its servers, or anything else LVP. I want to promote good discussions as much as I can, while leaving room for criticism. Hands-off moderation is my motto for this server. I want to be open about moderation decisions and be able to have discussions with the community about them. Basically, as long as you're not being like I don't know, racist, or just mean in general, you'll be set. A big problem I had with LVPU was the fact that any mild criticism about Michael was immediately a reason for him to witch hunt people's profiles and start banning. But anyways. Along with this Discord, I also started a custom server project called Refresh. Refresh is a work in progress second generation custom server for LVP that focuses on code quality and reliability. And after about a week or two in development, it really shows. Since Refresh is built off what I've learned from developing Lighthouse and interacting with the people around it, and the fact that I've taken the opportunity to roll basically my own version of ASP.NET, it's forced me to think about how I want everything to work, and therefore make good architectural decisions. For example, just about every component of Refresh is swappable and abstracted. By abstracting everything and custom designing everything in this way, it makes it very easy to write unit tests to ensure stability, a huge problem I had with Lighthouse. The biggest difference by far is the use of Realm, a local database system similar to SQLite. I'm going to be honest, this probably doesn't mean much to any non-developer, so I'll explain. If you've tried to set up a lighthouse before, you'll know that it can be a pretty tremendous pain. You have to install MySQL and all oh, its Redis garbage and everything, and configure your stupid con config file and everything, and with refresh you double click the exe and it opens. That said, things are certainly still in their early stages, and as of writing, uh, we just implemented level uploader. Yeah. But, things are looking pretty good. The future is bright. Kinda. Anyways, that's where I've been lately, and if you're interested, the link to the Discord is in the description. Uh, we'll probably start doing devlogs again, but only if I really have anything interesting to show. Um, thanks for watching. This terrible shit voice script thing. I'm going way off script. Goodbye.